it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have for you a new fabulous video where I'm going to be sharing a fabulous crafting project with you. For quite some time the wall behind me has been a little bit blank. I've been wanting to cover it in little star bursts so I finally got around to doing that. I posted out what I tried on Instagram and I had so many people who were so supportive of what I made and a few people even request how I put star bursts onto my wall so I thought I'd make a little crafting video to share with you. The Starburst is such a beautiful vintage pattern and I thought it would make just a soft addition in the background just to make the wall a little bit more exciting. I'd originally planned to just do a few feature Starbursts but once I started I thought why not cover the whole wall in these Starbursts so it looks like a wallpaper. The method I'm going to be teaching today is also really effective because it can be taken off the wall if you're living in a rental or if you want it so you can change the pattern up as desired. So let's get into today's crafting tutorial. To start you're going to need a few essential items. You'll need a stencil which you can make yourself. I actually had these little starbursts that I bought from an antique store. I bought quite a few of them to decorate around the place but to cover my whole wall I didn't have enough for that project. So what I did is I just traced this onto craft paper and cut that out. You can easily make your own pattern by drawing out a starburst or tracing one off online. I'm going to post up to my Glamour community on Patreon the actual starburst that I've used and the pattern for these as well as a larger starburst which makes a fabulous feature piece. You'll need craft paper, preferably in the colour you want it to be in. I was a little bit lazy and only had yellow craft paper left over so I did also use spray paint to colour them pink. You'll need a pencil to trace out your designs. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut your starbursts. And also something to stick it onto the wall. I just simply used blue tack, but you could use something like double-sided tape. Just be mindful whatever adhesive you use. You want to be careful of the paint underneath. If you want it to be more permanent, it doesn't matter if it's stuck on there really securely. So here is the fabulous wall all complete. And here's a closer look at one of the starbursts that I've created. Super cute and is just literally on the card. As I mentioned, I have painted it just because all I had was the yellow. So so we'll get into the method of making this now. We're going to start by creating our stencil. So you can either make your own, use the one that I have available on Patreon, or find another suitable template online. Step two is to trace our stencil onto the paper we wish to use. I'm simply just using a pencil and going around the outside of my shape. So I've already made the bulk of my starburst, but if you were creating yours from the very beginning. You want to utilize the paper as best as possible so you can get the maximum amount of starburst cut out of that one sheet. Step three is to cut out the shape and as we want this to be precise you really want to follow that line beautifully. Step four is an option if you have the incorrect color for your starburst. As I only had the yellow paper I decided to spray paint that as I always have pink spray paint on hand. So I just did a quick coat and waited 10 minutes for it to dry as I have the quick drying spray paint in my cupboard. Be sure to use your spray paint safely and correctly. Be sure you're outside, you put something down to protect the floor and ensure your safety at all times. Step five is to decide the pattern you want on your wall. And this was probably the hardest one for me because I did play around with a little bit until I was happy with the positions I put them in. I first started with four starbursts that I put into a pattern and then I kind of gauged where I wanted them to sit. I measured this out to see how far they were sitting from one another and then I use that as a gauge to place the other ones into their position. This will be different if you're just doing a few feature starbursts so if you just have like a couple up on the wall instead of a whole wall filled with them you just need to pick out where you'd like them to sit. Our final step is step six where we're going to stick them onto the wall which I just pop onto the center back and I measure where I want it to sit and stick it into place. I then just take a little bit of blue tack on the top and the bottom just to stick down the two longest points as I found they were kind of sitting off the wall a little bit and that's your fabulous starburst wall complete. I'd love to know in the comments below 
what you think of today's project. Do you love the starburst wall or is it not quite your taste? It's that very mid-century kitschy style and I totally understand that it's not for everyone. If you do try this project be sure to tag me on Instagram or send me a little message with a link to your photo as I'd love to see what you've tried out. If you'd like to see more craft videos on my YouTube channel do let me know in the comments below. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you did do give me a comment and do like this video. If you like early access to videos, exclusive content, as well as supporting me here on YouTube, I now have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons. We have Kane S and Sarah C. To follow my crazy daily pinup adventures, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you all real soon.